The General Electric J31 was the first jet engine to be mass produced in the United States. Topic: <laughs> Design and Development. After a visit to England mid-1941, General Henry H. Arnold was so impressed by flight demonstrations of the Gloucester E-28 39th jet aircraft he had witnessed that he arranged for the Power Jet's W-1X turbojet engine to be shipped by air to the U.S., along with drawings for the more powerful W-2B-23 engine, so that the U.S. could develop its own jet engine. General Electric's extensive experience in turbocharger production made them the natural choice for producing such an engine. The initial prototype, the General Electric IA, was essentially based on the W2B-23. It first ran on 18 April 1942 and developed a static thrust of 1250 lbf. The IA air intake consisted of two peripheral slots which led to a double-sided, centrifugal compressor. A series of vanes guided the air into the impeller eyes. After radial compression, the air was diffused and turned 90 degrees rearwards, before entering a set of 10 reverse flow combustion chambers i.e. cans. A relatively short shaft connected the compression system to the single-stage axial turbine. After expansion through the turbine, the combustion products exhausted the engine through the simple conical propelling nozzle, via the jet pipe. For the turbine section, GE used a proprietary metal developed for the turbochargers, Hastelloy B problems were uncovered with overheating bearings, and solved by fitting the turbine with larger cooling blades and changing the air diffuser, as well as switching to a ram air cooling air inlet. Using their turbocharger expertise, General Electric were able to, in a short space of time, develop a 1,400 lbf thrust version, known as the I-14. Later they increased the thrust to 1,600 lbf 7.1 kilonewtons. This version was referred to internally as the I-16 however, the United States Army Air Forces later decided to standardize all the jet engine naming, at which point the I-16 became the J-31. Production of the J-31 started for the P-59 Airacomay in 1943, and by the time the line shut down in 1945, a total of 241 had been built. GE also used the basic design to produce the much larger I-40 with 4,000 lbf, but this design was passed on to Allison as the J-33, much to GE's chagrin. Another derivative of the J-31, the General Electric I-20, given the military designation J-39, was ordered but later cancelled. Meanwhile, the British version of the W-2B-23 turbojet entered production as the 1,600 lbf thrust Rolls-Royce Welland 1 in October, 1943. The Gloucester Meteor I fighter, which entered RAF service in July, 1944, was powered by the Welland I. Topic. Applications Bell P-59 Airacome Ryan FR Fireball Ryan XF-2R Dark Shark Topic. Surviving engines There is a J-31 on display at the New England Air Museum, Bradley International Airport, Windsor Locks, CT. Topic: Specifications J-31. Data from. Topic: General characteristics. Type, centrifugal compressor turbojet Length, 72 in 183 cm Diameter, 41. 5 in 105 cm Dry weight, 850 pounds 386 kg Topic, components Compressor, single-stage double-sided centrifugal Combustors, 10 reverse flow can Turbine, single-stage axial 
fuel type kerosene and F32 or 100 and gasoline oil system pressure spray wet sump with scavenge cooling and filtration topic performance Maximum thrust 1650 lbf 7.33 kN Overall pressure ratio 3.8 1 Air mass flow 33 pounds 15.0 kg per second at 16000 revolutions per minute Turbine inlet temperature 1220 degrees Fahrenheit 660 degrees Celsius Specific fuel consumption: 1.2 pounds lbf per hour, 0.1223 kilograms per kilonewton per hour. Thrust to weight ratio: 1. 94 to 1. Topic. See also. Related development. General Electric IA. General Electric I-40, J-33 Power Jets W-2 Rolls-Royce Welland Comparable engines De Havilland Goblin-related lists List of aircraft engines <laughs>